The Extreme Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope is an instrument on the SOHO spacecraft used to obtain high-resolution images of the solar corona in the ultraviolet range. The EYET instrument is sensitive to light of four different wavelengths, 17.1, 19.5, 28.4, and 30.4 nm, corresponding to light produced by highly ionized iron slash and helium, respectively. It is built as a single telescope with a quadrant structure to the entrance mirrors, each quadrant reflects a different color of the UV light, and the wavelength to be observed is selected by a shutter that blocks light from all but the desired quadrant of the main telescope. The I wavelengths are of great interest as solar physicists because they are emitted by the very hot solar corona but not by the relatively cooler photosphere of the sun. This reveals structures in the corona that would otherwise be obscured by the brightness of the sun itself. It was originally conceived as a viewfinder instrument to help select observing targets for the other instruments on board SOHO, but it is credited with a good fraction of the original science to come from SOHO, including the first observations of traveling wave phenomena in the corona, characterization of coronal mass ejection onset, and determination of the structure of coronal holes. Before mid 2010, I obtained an FA 12 image of the Sun about four times an hour, around the clock. These were immediately uplinked as time-lapse movies to the for immediate viewing by anyone who is interested. Since the summer of 2010, when Thorpe commissioning of the Solar Dynamics Observatory was completed, its atmospheric imaging assembly has been able to take much higher resolution solar images much more frequently. The white light coronagraphs on SOHO are thus able to take images more frequently. They share a CPU and telemetry bandwidth with IT. The images are used for long-duration studies of the sun, for detailed structural analyses of solar features, and for real-time space weather prediction by the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe to WizScience on YouTube or visit wizscience.com.